This dump truck in front of Zach and I right now is run away to Mendelssohn. It's probably about 20 years old, give or take. Here in Ohio, here in Ohio, we have 30 day tax. They must have been extremely desperate when they bought this thing recently. The tags expire April 28th, so yes. Today's the 25th, so they just purchased this thing. Gee, many Christmas. Oh. Now here's a table, Zach. This is a table. <laughs> 300 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> that would be really cool to have. <laughs> That's exactly what I need for Michael. Look at that. He would look perfect in this. <laughs> Here we go. That's what I need for Michael. They got so much. Here you go, Zach. You can you can chillax in this. Have a seat, Zach. It's only six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars for these chairs that have already been through hell. Yeah. See, ooh, what do we? You guys thinking what I'm thinking? If I could. Do you see what I see? You see it? See, there's three of them here. For ten bucks, nine fifty. That would be perfect. this but you never know what you're gonna find here right <laughs> desk 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 uh no I think I'm gonna be ordering one online these are like 125 right here. Well, that was fun at Mendelssohn's. Uh, got a couple things. As you know, I purchased this thing right here. There was three of them. I didn't want to buy a bunch of them because I didn't know how it was going to work out. Well, if anything, check it out. That looks pretty cool. Now, I had to modify it a little bit, but... I just pretty much, and initially what I did was stick the, uh, I had to bend this back a little because the styrofoam head, yeah, you can cut a hole, make the hole wider, but that's just to make some mess, you know what I mean? So I bent this, I figured, you know what, I'm using this obviously for those masks, so I actually kind of bent it in half, it was real easy, and it turned out pretty good, I think, not too bad, you know? 10 bucks for three of those darn things. So, it's probably cheaper than buying paper towel racks, which I have to get mine back. It's currently holding Twisty the Clown right now. Got an orange <laughs> bust here. But I didn't figure anything. I went ahead, I stopped at hit a Hobby Lobby. I gotta go back here. Got some more paint. I wanted to see how this, uh, these coveralls were gonna, you know, hold up on this. I had a, a strong feeling what it was gonna look like since I already have one in there. But these particular coveralls, coveralls, coveralls. Every time I turn on a camera, I always have to stumble and fall my words. So I figure what I'll do is paint this first. So I, so I got some paint, and you know I don't mind. It's kind of fun, you know. I like doing that sort of thing. And if it looks all right. You know, after I put the mask on, if that size looks all right, I might just leave it as is. But then I got to thinking while I was there, I may actually cut this in half, right? 
it's not very it's more like a PVC I guess you could say it's not very uh, it's not very thick it's not plaster or anything like that I don't really know the proper material that you see for a lot of mannequins what they use but uh, this is a kind of a cheap plastic like a PVC so it should be pretty easy to cut in half and then that way I can pretty much get what I was looking for anyways and uh, so yeah this should be interesting hopefully it turns out alright if not I just threw away 25 bucks never did that before and while I was at Hobby Lobby okay this print right here this I love Quentin Tarantino films as you could probably tell okay well that's not his okay here's Pulp Fiction I love Quentin Tarantino films this print right here is a large print. It's uh, 55 horizontally by uh, 40. Why is it Hobby Lobby? It's <sighs> if I wanted to have this thing custom framed, it would cost like 350 bucks. I've had this print now for probably I don't know since 2004. I've had this print. I remember now where I used to live at. I bought it at a place. It was an old record store. Um, close to where I used to live and I bought this print there for like 12 bucks and I was so thrilled because I absolutely love this print mainly due because it's my favorite Quentin Tarantino film and it's just something about it, it looks really cool well anyways while I was at uh, Hobby Lobby they have like that uh, uh, do, 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 do. wasting time these people have better things to do yeah, it's a canvas, duh. Yeah, it's just a white canvas, and it would—I think it'll look so much better. Granted, it's like eighty—it's eighty-five bucks, but I knew it was going to cost, you know, a few dollars to have something like that done. But I figured that—that'll probably do just fine. I like it. I'll give it more of a three-dimensional pop out from the wall, and eventually, I, I do have some ideas of what I'd like to do in here but uh, I don't know not bad I think it'll look so much better than as it is sitting there right now and believe it or not in this corner right here when I was painting in there I actually moved Michael over here in this corner it looks pretty damn cool but I just don't have the heart to remove Michael from behind the bar because he's kind of like a, a bouncer back there he intimidates you know any guests that I've had in the past I can't say present because, well, I suck on guests, but <laughs> um, I don't know. There's just, you know, there's just something about having his presence here at the bar. Don't you think? I'll just add in the sound effects later. Okay, I'm done. I finally finished this bust. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs>
No, that, uh, I knew I was going to cut it in half, okay? I knew I was going to cut it in half. Okay, I took you guys to Mendelssohn's, looked around, I seen this, I wasn't expecting this, I almost walked away, but then when I went to see the price, yeah, they had it for 35 bucks, I got it knocked down to 15, um, mainly because I tried to uh, explain that it should have came with the legs, because according to their website, they just show a mannequin. So I got it down to 15, hey, you gotta do that, you know? You can't uh, just uh, always expect to have people walk all over you, but I know that I'm gonna do this one more time, at least one more time for, like I mentioned earlier, for uh, Mr. Warlock right here. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. Not as, I do love these little iron things that I got there. That's cool as hell. For that price, 10 bucks for three of them. It's perfect for those masks. So yeah, this is what I was going for. Um, I initially seen bust around this size on eBay or Amazon, and it wasn't the prices that I was intimidated, but I figured, you know what, if I can actually go pick one up, if they had any there at Mendelssohn's, voila, boom. So yeah, the paint, it turned out well. I know it's a little shiny, it's a little glossy, but you know what, I, I, I can't rip my skin off. I'm not a painter or an artist in that form in any way, so I figured, taking this and painting um, <laughs> uh, brown boots and do, 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 ivory, oh, they're both satin. Painting that over this and just taking my time, it, I think it turned out pretty good. Like I said, I'm no painter or anything like that. I used to draw a lot, but oh well. But that's what I was going for, and I look at it this way, at the lower half now, I can use this as a garbage can. Well, why not? So. <laughs> Yeah, um, if you guys are looking to do something similar for your masks and uh, you've been seeing so many of them out there like I have, I mean, yeah, there's there's some really great looking concepts of uh, these, uh, that, you know, of our favorite uh, villains or even sci-fi guys. Some of them are just absolutely amazing. So I figured, you know what, I'm just going to do another DIY like I did with, uh, you know, the NHK over there. So... There we go. I could finally uh, find a, now a glass display or a really nice uh, bookshelf to put them on. I really like to put it behind glass. That way I don't have to worry about, you know, any dust building up over them or anything like that. So, and as I look at the oven right now, it is almost time for my son's pizza to be ready. So that's a good time for me to say, well, guys, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed this video, this little DIY. And uh, as you can see, yes, I still have a tag on it here from... Uh, Nicholas there at Nag Masks. Uh, I truly cannot thank you enough for your incredible artistic abilities, Nick. It, this just absolutely blows me away on the things that you can do. Seeing your photos that you post online of what you're doing next and what you're doing next, just absolutely mind blowing. So uh, yeah, i definitely looking forward to my next Nag Mask. Definitely looking forward to that. I guess I have to talk to Nick himself when it comes to the right time. Well, I got a mortgage to take care of first, so. All right, guys, well, that's it for me. Thanks again for watching. You know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Any of that is, well, truly appreciated by me. Until next time, we'll see you later at the bar downstairs. Literally. Well, used to be literally. All right, got to get his pizza ready. It's almost two minutes. All right, two minutes. See, I'm not kidding you. See, this pizza's almost done.